This is the multi cutter. It is a paper cutter designed to cut circles specific for making buttons. It's, um, you can adjust it to, to various sizes, uh, that are specific to making buttons. So I will refer to the sizes by their button size. However, um, the actual diameter that this machine cuts is based on the size that's needed for the button. So this would be a one and a half inch button, but the graphic that it cuts is 1.837 inches in diameter. So it's specific so that the graphic wraps around the button. Um, you need extra space. So I'll call that a one and a half inch cut, but it's actually 1.837 inches. So this cutter can be adjusted to various different sizes specific to buttons. Um, the size it's set at right now is for three and a half inch buttons, and um, that's a four inch diameter circle. Um, it has some preset stops on this arm right here. It's like a, a blade attached to an arm that rotates around to cut the paper. Um, you can loosen this screw at the top and adjust this to one of these preset sizes or really any size in between if you need to, but the stops are specific for, for button making. So this is a three and a half inch position. So I'll just move the arm to three inch. If I was going to make a three inch button, I'll move the arm again to two and a quarter. This one is one and a half. And then the smallest size that it'll do is one inch. And that's a 1.313 inch diameter circle for one inch buttons. So today I'm gonna to cut a one and a half inch button, so I need to set it to the one and a half inch stop, which is there. This machine comes with a template that is cut to the one inch size. If you need to make a one and a half inch button like we do today, we're gonna to need to cut out this template first. You only have to do this once for each size. So you first, you'll insert the template into the machine like this. And then you'll cut this out. And this takes a little bit of doing the first time you do it. So you have to push down really hard and just cut, 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 all the way through the plastic. And it does, it does take a bit of strength and determination. <laughs> to do this the first time, but again, you only have to do this once. Okay. There, so now, now we have a one and a half inch template available to make one and a half inch buttons. And, um, and this rotary cutter does come with this cutting plate as well. Um, so now I'm gonna just go ahead and center the machine on top of one of my graphics. Hold it in place, push the handle down, and rotate around to cut. Doing it. And you can get pretty fast at this. So it's not, it's a pretty decent machine. And it will save you money if you're doing a lot of different sizes. I'll do one more. Okay. I didn't quite get it all the way, but there you go. That's still usable. So that is the multi-cutter.